Hey y'all, welcome back to Crime Time with Mal. My name is Mal, in case you have never seen me before. Hi, hello, and welcome. I hope you decide to stick around and subscribe to my channel. And my battery died, so, okay. I am, my name is Mal, and I do missing person unsolved and some solved cases over here on this channel. I upload solved and like unsolved cases on Wednesdays and missing person cases on Saturdays. So today's video was going to be a, another um, like series that I do here on my channel. It's cases that have been wrote up as and um, clearly it is not or it needs some more investigating. So those are my series videos and that's what I was going to upload today. But I just got news of this and this is, I'm super nervous. Not I'm nervous to upload this video, but I'm like, my heart is breaking y'all. And I didn't want... <laughs> A video like this about her to come up. I was hoping for a different outcome. Y'all can tell by the title what this video is about, so let's just go ahead and get started. If you haven't seen my previous video that I covered of Briasia Terrell, I will link that up here in the iCards above. Go ahead and click on that video before you watch this video so it will make a little bit more sense and you can get kind of a background um, to what I'm going to talk about. So real quick, Briasia was last seen July 10th this past summer. Um, she was 10 years old. She celebrated her 11th birthday. Unfortunately, she did not get to celebrate it. I've been bawling my eyes out since I found out about this, so I'm going to try to keep it together, but it's, it's horrible. On March 23rd, one or two fishermen found remains at this pond, um, off of the road, and Aisha Lankford, Briasia's mom was there. Um, she didn't talk to the media or anything. Well, she did say that she didn't know anything, but she was there hoping to find something out or see some type of clue to see if it was Briasia. Um, but she didn't really say anything to the media. And I got a few comments on my video about Briasia that there was remains found and I saw those and thank y'all for updating me. I wanted to wait to find out the results of those remains before I made a video and I guess I was a little bit hopeful that they were not Briasia but today live this video is going up on Wednesday today March 31st Davenport Police Chief confirmed that those remains were of 10-year-old Briasia Terrell. Good afternoon, everyone. <clears throat> My name is Paul Sikorsky, and I'm the police chief here in Davenport. And last Monday, the Davenport Police Department was contacted by the Clinton County Sheriff's Department in regarding to the discovery of human re remains uh, near 270th Avenue uh, near DeWitt. An autopsy on the remains was conducted by the Division of Criminal Investigation and we have received confirmation we've received confirmation that the uh, remains are those of Breesha Terrell. As you know, Briege has been missing since July 10th uh, from our city. This news is heartbreaking to both Briege's family and our Davenport community. Our deepest sympathies and heartfelt prayers are with all of those who are affected by this tragic loss. They are saying that this is a homicide. They're not saying anything else other than that. They said as soon as they can release more information to the public, they will 100% do so. And they are committed to finding what happened to this sweet 
baby girl that did not deserve this whatsoever. And I'm sorry y'all that I get so emotional. I really do feel these people's pain and the family's pain and I could not imagine nor would I ever want to imagine or put this on somebody else and that is why I do these types of videos because it would mean the world to me if one of my videos found somebody that knew information about a case and they came about or we found a missing person because of my video like that would be a dream come true of mine to just help and give back to a family and I do believe law enforcement when they say that they're going to work around the clock to find out what happened. You could hear it in the police chief's voice how heartbroken he is. Um, the whole community is heartbroken and my heart goes out and my prayers go out to every single person affected by Brie Asia. Whether you knew her personally or not, I did not know her personally. And I'm heartbroken just because it's such a sad situation. So Henry Dinkins, he is still in jail um, on unrelated charges to Brie Asia. And if you don't know who Henry Dinkins is, I'm not going to repeat myself um, just for the people that have or know who Henry is. So make sure you do watch that video of Brie Asia that I did do. And there are, I know because I'm going to get comments about this, but there are a ton of speculations and stories going around about Aisha, Briasia's mom, and I'm not going to get into it or give my opinion quite yet. Um, but I have seen this video floating around YouTube, and if I can find it, I'll link it below. But it's of Briasia pops in a few times, her brother's in the camera dancing, and her mom, Aisha, is in the background. And what they're talking about is very unsettling. Um, so I did want to just point that out just in case it's in the comments. I'm aware of that video, and I am not going to say what I think on that. But I know this is a super short video and I apologize. There is not much more I can say and I feel like if I continue to talk about it, I'm going to cry. <laughs> um, I've already had to stop this video a couple of times because I got a little emotional and I'm not going to apologize for me being an emotional person and feeling other people's happy and sad times and like I'm not gonna apologize for that that's who I am I have a big heart and I wear my heart on my sleeve and a lot of y'all love that about me and that means the world to me that y'all accept me for who I am but this video isn't about me or how I feel it's about Brie Asia and getting justice for this sweet 10 year old baby girl because I, I just am heartbroken that this is the video I'm making right now. Um, I honestly wish that this went a different way and I feel bad for saying that. I, but at least, you know, she would have been alive and we, you know, people could have rescued her. Um, instead, now there's nothing but justice that we can seek. So if y'all like this video, please give it a thumbs up for Brie Asia. Um, light a candle tonight and remembering her because I definitely will and keep everybody that is affected by Brie Asia in your thoughts and prayers and I will see y'all in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and hit that notification bell so you don't miss when I upload. I will see y'all in Saturday's video. Thank you so, so much for watching and every single one of y'all's support. I love y'all more than I can say and I am so very grateful for y'all. Um, hug your babies tight tonight. Very, very tight. 
I will see y'all next time. Bye.